Hi everyone, Scott Woods with Hawkridge Systems here. Today I'm going to be talking about Composer and the correct way to import any CAD model. The most important step when working with and SOLIDWORKS Composer is the very first step, importing your models correctly. This video covers the most common situations, but there are many different types of CAD files and many different combinations and options during import. This video might not cover your exact situation, so I highly recommend that you check out our blog page. We have a couple that covers Composer import settings in much more detail. Now let's talk about when to use each import setting and what to do in specific situations. We are going to be covering the import settings, but update settings are exactly the same. In fact, we'd recommend to always use the same settings for both import and update per CAD model to avoid any update complications. When you go to import your first model into Composer, you might be confused with the three import options. There is Open, Merge into Current Document, and Merge into a New Document. The most common setting is to merge into a new document, so that will be the setting we'll be used for this video. Now for a detailed explanation of these settings, please refer to the blog post uh, previously mentioned. Okay, first let's cover the basic import method, a standard SOLIDWORKS assembly. Now, when I say a standard SOLIDWORKS assembly, I'm referring to a SOLIDWORKS assembly that has a structured assembly tree. I'm also assuming that all the parts within the entire assembly are solid parts, not multi-bodied components. And for now, let's also assume that there are no weldments. That is also covered in the block. In this scenario, the ideal settings to have turned on would be merge file into one actor per part, import meta properties, and import as bodies. The import hidden components no-show is completely optional, depending on if you want those hidden components to import or not. Now, suppress components within SOLIDWORKS will never import into Composer. You'll have to go into SOLIDWORKS, unsuppress those components if you want them to import. So let's go ahead and show this import method. Here I'm using SOLIDWORKS Composer to import a SOLIDWORKS assembly, using our recommended standard SOLIDWORKS assembly import options. This will take a minute to import, so we'll go ahead and skip over that portion in this video. Before we proceed to the next import situation, I would like to point out a couple things in this assembly we just imported into Composer. First you will notice that the top level assembly is not at the top level in Composer. This is because we used the merge into new document opposed to selecting open during the import. Having this top level assembly below the root structure is ideal so we can import more CAD models into the same document and keep them separate from each other. As long as each item is unique, we can update them individually using the original updated CAD model. This workflow is also detailed in the blog document. Next, let's discuss the import settings for any neutral CAD format, such as STEP, IGIS, and STL. Now, the truth is, is that there's no standard settings for these files, and they'll need to be individually tested. Most CAD programs can export into these formats, but each program models and exports a little differently. There really is no way to tell how the file is structured until it's imported. However, if you know how it was modeled and exported, it does make the import settings a little easier to estimate. By default, I typically use two settings with these files for the initial import. I will use import as bodies and import free faces. Depending how it imports, I might adjust the settings and try the import again. For instance, say you are importing an STL and using these settings, the import results in a solid mass where all the parts are joined together. In this case, I would try importing again, but this time turn off the import as bodies. The resulting import will have tons of faces, but at least the faces can be grouped together within Composer and exploded in order to create part manuals and step-by-step -step instructions. Using these combinations, virtually any CAD model can be imported into Composer. And when you combine these settings over multiple imports, a single robust Composer document can be created that effectively combines many different CAD models together, allowing all sorts of technical documentation to be developed. 